Global cities are important because the UN is predicting by 2035 that 70% or 9 billion people will live in cities. And cities are critical in terms of knowledge transfer. So it's where the gig or the knowledge economy is currently living. And it's very, very different, if you like, to the post-industrial or post-manufacturing cities. So what you're looking for are the cities that are thriving because of transport, because of infrastructure, because of all these policies that are in place. And on the other side of the coin, on the other side of the equation, you've got cities out there that are in sort of terminal decline as the industries are being depleted by the automation and manufacturing. So in the recent Schroeder's Global Cities update, London came in very strongly at number two. The reason for this is that it screens very well on a number of key metrics that we have in terms of how we rank cities. And if we look at the scale of London, if we look at uh, the capita GDP growth as well, if we look at the quality of the universities in place, and on top of all of that, you can see in terms of the cultural offering that somewhere that like London has to offer and the very broad based economy that is actually one of those key cities that despite all of the political issues that are currently going on at the current time, we see it as, as a key place um, for future investment. Mm -hmm.